If you're tired of the onslaught of sub ohm tanks and you want some innovation, stay tuned because tonight we're going to take a look at the Heat Vape Sniper on the Vapor Chronicles. Hey guys, welcome back to this edition of the Vapor Chronicles. We have something very unique, a new design, a new type of sub ohm Clearo. It's big, it's 25 millimeters in diameter. It's from a company called Heat Vape and it is called the Sniper. It's the Sniper because this tank came out of nowhere and hit me right in the back of the head with a headshot and it was spot on. It is a great looking tank if you like a big, huge six milliliter juice capacity tank and it has innovations aplenty. So let's do this. Before we waste any more time, we're gonna zoom in, I'm gonna tell you the specs, show you what the innovation is, then we're gonna zoom out, we're gonna take it for a vape, and I'll give you my final analysis and conclusion. All right, let's zoom in. All right, so here is <clears throat> the outside of the container. Now I wanna tell you that this is a pre-release version, and I, I have received some word from Heat Vape directly, and I had some questions for them, and they answered them. So let me just share with you what the response were. Um, the first thing is, is that they do use pure organic cotton um, for the coil head and they said that they should have a, t this is a 25 millimeter diameter tank and there should be a 22 millimeter diameter tank um, available by the end of next month. Now in the sniper kit they also include a nickel coil and a 0.5 ohm um, and a 0.5 ohm head. So you get your nickel and you get your 0.5 ohm. Now in the, in the version that I received, it only had the standard um, uh, canthal coil, not the nickel coil. All right, so I hope that answers any questions that you guys might have when looking at this. But let's take a look at it. So here's the outside of your container. And you can see There's the diagram. On the final release, you will have uh, different color O-rings and such. Mine, like I said, is pre-release, so it's not uh, the final version. Tells you how to fill it and how to replace your coil head. Now, just for size comparison, Let's compare this real quick to the original sub tank, full size. So it's very similar size wise. The original sub tank does look bigger and it feels a little bit more bulky, but they're very close. All right, so let's give a run, get a rundown of some specifications. So some features of this, it has top airflow control, also top fillable, comes with 0.5 ohm coil and a non-resistant nickel coil. It supports, it supports wattage up to 50 watts, six milliliter juice capacity, and it has a patented leak proof design, which they state removes leaking completely. It also has a innovative heat resistant stainless steel drip tip, huge vapor production, and it's 25 millimeters. All right, so let's take a look at the tank. I must admit I've taken this apart already so I pretty much understand how it works. Um, it threw me for a doozy when I first got it. I wasn't really sure what to expect. And one thing I've really enjoyed um, through receiving this is the innovation of the um, tank itself. It's very unique, very different from what you've seen before. Um, in my case, there's also an extra coil head in here, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Now, to access the refill, this drip tip does not come off. And the way that it works is to unscrew this drip tip, you have to screw counterclockwise. And you'll notice that this unscrews. See that? And I think they were able to achieve the heat resistance. 
See how it's separate? There's a space. So I think that is what's connected to the body and it allows you to have less heat transfer to your mouth. So that's the drip tip. And this is where you refill. This is a rubber seal. It's filled here. And this is where your airflow comes up. Now what's really interesting, it's gonna take you for a, a little bit of a, it's gonna kind of blow your mind a little bit, is there's no airflow adjustment on the bottom. See? The airflow adjustment is on the top. So there's the sniper logo. When you adjust this, you'll see there's, let's do this. So here's your smallest airflow opening. Here's your next, your next. So there are three sizes for airflow. One, two, three. And there you have it. Now you might be saying, well, how the hell does the air go from up here down to the coil and then back out the opening again? Well, I'm gonna show you all that. So you grab your base, counterclockwise. That's interesting. Okay, so the way that it works is this is your base where your 510 is. And here are your O-rings for sealing your glass. This is your coil head, which I'll show you in a minute. And let's take the coil out. There's your base. Now this is where the magic happens. You'll notice that when you see the top where it fills here, look here. And notice how it's a straight channel all the way through right? But flip it over and you'll see there's a hole here. This is where the airflow comes on the outer portion and that's where the air goes back out. So it's down this way and then up the center. Now if we unscrew this, you'll see why. Your airflow control is on the side, so the air comes in from the side. And that's where your airflow goes in. See? But it's sealed on the middle.
This goes in here. Airflow in, airflow out from the top. Now, how this works, notice at the bottom here how it's metal in the middle and then it's there's space here. Well, the coil head is designed like this. See that rubber gasket right here? That rubber o-ring? Well, inside here you have your coil and your wicking. So the air goes down the outside from the top in into the coil head and then it comes up the bottom through the coil and out your mouth with the vapor. Now the where the juice wicks is here on the side. So there's your juice wick and there's your other wick. And the bottom is completely sealed. And that's what makes contact with your base. There's no openings here at all for air to go in. There you have it. So the way that this works is you take your coil head and you screw it into your base. here and then this <clears throat> connects right down in to your chimney now the only drawback of having it this way is you want to make sure that you empty your tank completely which should not be difficult with the open fill from the top uh, before you end up changing your coil head but then this screws down Now I have noticed that when I'm screwing this on, since this is free spinning, uh, I would have liked it if they would have lock, put a lock there so this wouldn't continue spinning, just because you have to sort of grab the threads here or have your drip tip on, which is fine, to make it tighter on there. The problem is when you go to unscrew, how do you get a grip on anything? Because if you turn this counterclockwise, it unscrews, and if you go this counterclockwise, you're stuck, so you sort of have to grab the meaty part of the metal here, and there's not really a grip on there since it's smooth, so it makes it a little bit more challenging, but you can do it, see? And then it comes off, but that's just, you know, I'd, I would have either textured this, this part here, or made it so this doesn't spin freely uh, continuously, just to make it easier for unscrewing and screwing, if that makes any sense. All right, so filling the tank. By the way, before you do this, because I forgot to show you, you want to take a little bit of your juice, and we're going to be using some looper. And you want to get that wick saturated a little bit by putting some juice in there. Three or four drops should do you, just so you're not hitting a dry coil head. Make sure that's nice and snug. And you want to take your drip bottle and you can fill it up straight from the top. And you can squeeze at a very high rate of speed. And you'll get six milliliters of juice in there. 
once you have your juice in, you can wipe off the top. Put your drip tip back on. I like to put it on the smallest air hole. And just give it a couple primer pulls. And let those uh, fresh coil heads saturate for a little bit before you kill it. All right. So there you have it. Innovative coil head design, innovative tank, large capacity. So for those people that like the big boys or you have a big mod, this is definitely a cool tank. Um, they say that it's completely leak resistant. I have had zero leaks so far. Turn it upside down, turn it right side up. It really is sealed off nice and tight. And uh, let's see how, how, how it vapes. All right, so let's zoom out and I'll see you in a sec. All right, so you saw the tank. It's made by Heat Vape. They sent it to me free for the purpose of this review. Let me give you a little bit of a backstory. Number one, there is a YouTube channel and, and it's called Rye Guy Vapes. And I wanna thank Ryan from Rye Guy Vapes for recommending me to check out the Sniper from Heat Vape. So you saw the up close, you saw this innovative design. Air from the top, coil at the bottom, top fill, or 25 millimeter diameter tank. So it's gonna be a little bit of an overhang on something like this, which is the SX Mini, but it still looks you know, clean and presentable. Um, it's big. You sub tank lovers, this is gonna be something for you. With that said, let's take this for a vape and try it out. Oh, before I continue, the, I have this set to 45 watts. It's reading 0.6 ohms, 3.98 volts, and uh, let's take it for a vape. Okay, so my impressions. <clears throat> the first thing that I that I feel about this tank is that the airflow is, it, this is not for you super lung hitters. Now I can lung hit on this. But it's not gonna be your open area Heracles or your star tank draw. But what you get for the trade-off is you get an innovative leak proof design you get very, very good flavor replication. I mean, this thing just produces a ton of warm, rich, flavorful vapor. It is just really, really good. Um, it wicks well, it keeps up. I can raise this to 50 watts. That wasn't even a dry hit, that was just a lot of vapor. So it really throws clouds. Uh, the flavor is excellent. It's a warm, wet, saturated vape at 50 watts. You can lower it to 30 watts and get a cooler vape. Innovative fill design is top notch. The build quality feels excellent. Um, you know, it is all glass around here, so you know you want to make sure that you can get a replacement tank for this. The only real negatives is that the drip tip is not removable, so you have to like this drip tip. But with the drip tip, it's innovative. So when you unscrew it. You can re refill from the top, which makes it very, very easy. Um, the other thing is the airflow adjustment is super tight. So if you like a tight draw, lower this to the smallest hole and you can mouth along very, very well on this.
you get a lot of, there's a lot of air reverse, like vacuum air pressure in here because of this, the way that the airflow goes down the chimney, in through the coil and out the top. So you get flavor, you get great suction, great juice flow, easy to fill, lots of juice capacity. Drawback, it's a pain in the ass to empty the tank. Um, you're you're going to need to vape through this or carefully put like a, a little rubber band on the glass section and then pour the juice out in order to access your coil head. Um, as with any sub ohm tank, there's no RBA section on this. Having no RBA section makes this a limited use tank based upon the availability of the coil heads. The coil heads will be available online and I'll make sure I put links as soon as they become available. Uh, some of the colors will change on the final version, as I said in the up close. But overall, I mean, Heat Vape has an innovative design here. It's nice and refreshing to see that. It performs extremely well. It has great flavor. It has great uh, vapor production. It handles 50 watts exceptionally well. I really don't have many complaints about this, besides the fact that if you like a 25 millimeter tank, then this would be something you could look into. But if you want open airy draw, this is not for you. As soon as they get the 22 millimeter diameter tank available, I'll hopefully get that in for review and I'll let you guys know what I think of that. But all things considered, I'm very impressed. When I first got it, you know, I was boggled for the first few hours trying to figure out how it worked, what it did, how it did it. But uh, since I've been vaping on it for a few days now, uh, it's performed well. I haven't had any dry hits, no leaking. Um, you know, that's it. So Heat Vape, congratulations, you have a great tank here. Uh, I look forward to seeing more from you in the future. Uh, thank you for sending me this for review. And um, I'll put a link below for those of you that are interested in purchasing the Sniper from Heat Vape. Uh, if you like this review and if you wanna see more reviews on my channel, please subscribe. Click the button below, subscribe, and you'll get up-to-date content daily. Uh, you can also see me on my website, which is www.thevaporchronicles.com. And there's a lot of snipers out there that are trying to take away our right to vape. So why don't you go to www.casaa.org and fight for your right to vape because nobody else will. Thank you for watching the Vapor Chronicles. Thank you for watching the Vapor Chronicles. There's a lot more where this came from. Stay tuned and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you.